The Forest Primeval. Anxiety is a normal and adaptive response to a perceived threat that has evolved in humans over millions of years. It is a mechanism that enables humans to mobilize large amounts of energy rapidly in order to cope with threats to survival. Imagine early humans going about the business of survival and having to respond to life or death situations in an instant. Right away, without having to make a conscious effort, the brain decides very quickly if the threat is something that might be successfully fought or if it's something to run away from. Inside the body, the sensory systems communicate with the amygdala and the decision-making center of the brain, and several processes begin almost simultaneously. Some of the processes are automatically initiated, including increased heart rate and respiration, and increased blood flow to larger muscles necessary for action. While these processes begin automatically, the brain is very quickly trying to make a decision whether to fight or to flee. If the brain is overwhelmed with fear, and if the freeze takes too long, there can be a deer-in-the-headlights effect with dire consequences. <laughs> Modern humans still retain this very effective response to a perceived threat, only the stakes are different. The mind perceives other kinds of things as threats. Public speaking is one example of what many modern humans consider anxiety producing. For modern humans, the threat typically isn't to life and limb, but the stress response center of the brain doesn't distinguish between a real threat and a perceived threat, so the same things happen in the body. However irrational, many responses to the perceived threat are contemplated, each option carefully weighed against a desirable outcome. Typically, modern humans are in situations in which fighting or fleeing aren't practical options with good outcomes, so they freeze while consciously trying to develop a good option. While we're frozen, the body continues its emergency response to the threat. With no direction from the brain as to what action to take, the muscles remain poised for action carrying this tension in our bodies as physical symptoms. We continue to carry this tension if we don't find a good way to discharge it. There are many ways to discharge this tension. They will be demonstrated in other sections of the Stress Recess website. For now, why don't you just imagine the audience only wearing their underwear? <laughs> 